So today is Friday, July 28th, 2023, for anyone that's watching in the future. And just yesterday, Shopify released a new help document on their website about Shopify Magic, which is a new AI tool created by Shopify, basically for Shopify. They also released a corresponding video on YouTube. It's just about four and a half minutes long. I did watch it a couple hours ago, but what I wanted to do is actually try some of the things that they show in this video that Shopify Magic AI is currently capable of. That's what I always do when new tools come out, just to see if it's actually helpful for you know what we're doing. So what I'm going to do instead of just doing that myself as I normally do is record this quick video. I'll kind of watch this video again with you, and then I'll pause at the different things that it's capable of, go into an actual Shopify store, and we will put them to test. We'll see how it works. So if you have a Shopify store and you're interested in using AI that costs you zero extra dollars because it's included with your plan, let's, uh, let's check this out together. Okay. AI has made the impossible possible, giving everyday businesses super. I might speed up certain parts that are more marketing based, even though it's only four and a half minutes long. Powers to be more productive, more creative, and more successful than ever before. We're really optimistic about what this means for commerce, and that's why we're building AI directly into Shopify. We call it Shopify Magic, and it combines the power of AI technology. I don't know if anybody else is in, as impatient as me, but I typically do watch videos at a faster playback speed. So I'm gonna turn this up to 1.5. So if you watch this video at 1.5, it'll be a little bit more with than Shopify that. With Shopify data to provide merchants with a suite of free features that are integrated across our products and workflows. With Shopify Magic, merchants get personalized, contextually relevant support for a range of tasks across store building, marketing, customer support, and back office management. Let's walk through a couple examples. With Shopify Magic, you can create email campaigns that convert using just a few keywords. You'll get compelling subject lines, engaging content, and you can get recommended send times to power high now, I'm gonna pause it here about the email part of it because this is one thing that I do wanna test in this video. When I saw this, I, I like it. I appreciate that they do it. But I currently do not use Shopify email. I use Klaviyo. So all of our stores are still on Klaviyo. As you know, if you're a Shopify store owner, that has been like the default best e-commerce platform for Shopify for, I don't know, honestly, as long as I can remember, over five years, because the integration is so good. But Shopify email has been something they've been getting better and better with over the years. And um, you know maybe it's coming to the point now where this does replace Klaviyo. With that being said though, everything that they mentioned that they built in now with AI and Shopify email, Klaviyo does as well. The difference is Klaviyo, you have to use a third-party app, obviously. Higher click-through rates. Let me walk you through how it works. Let's go to Shopify email. I'm gonna slow this part down because this is one of the things that we'll be testing. So let's just drop it down to normal speed. And you can see here, he's on the Shopify Create email a new app. campaign, and I'll just pick one of the templates. I'll select the template, and as that loads up, I can go ahead and make changes, and I can even use Shopify Magic to generate content, but I'm gonna go ahead and generate a subject. So subjects are hard for me. I don't really know what good looks like. So. It already knows the content of my email. I'm gonna head, go ahead and press generate text. It's gonna generate it in a persuasive tone of voice, which I think is good. And So this is definitely a, a cool feature, right? This is something that is very nice to have. It is something that I use, again, not currently with Shopify Magic, but currently I'm mostly using chat GPT for it. In the past, I've also used Jasper and other tools. So I just wanna point that out, that what this is now able to do is not something new, right? This type of AI is not new at all. I'm sure you've heard about chat GPT and everything else out there over the past six months or so. But it is, again, it's nice that Shopify is now building it in. It also is kind of funny. I did a video in 2018, I think, when I went to Shopify's conference, Shopify Unite. And at that conference is when they made a big push on Shopify email. And it was funny because they had all their partners there, including Klaviyo. And I was just thinking like, wow, they're just announcing Klaviyo features that they're now bringing in. Again, you know, I appreciate they do it because it's good for us, but I do wonder how the other app developers feel. Maybe they'll, Shopify will just buy them out. Uh, you know, they're a big enough company and who knows, maybe they'll end up uh, taking some of those companies under them. Um, but let's try this ourselves. Now, one thing I also noticed, let me just jump back a little bit. And I, before I started recording this, uh, this video, I didn't stop install, I should say, Shopify email, because again, I don't use it, I use Klaviyo. But what I noticed even in this video, when he email. goes to choose a template. I'm create a new campaign, and I'll here. just pick one of the. You see there's like basically no campaigns, right? All their templates are very, very basic. So one thing I thought that maybe they'll do is in the future, actually use the AI to create more templates because there's not many in there. So let me go to the Dropship Lifestyle merch store and let me go to apps. Um, yeah, let's go to apps and then we're gonna go to email. 
And uh, again, I don't have any history in here because I installed it right before this video. And then I'm gonna go to click create campaign and you'll see what I mean here. So it has obviously all of our branding and whatnot from the Shopify store, because that's all in Shopify settings, but there's not many different sections to choose from. And even like in promotions, we have a sale or a discount or a spring sale or an express checkout or a birthday. You know, there's nothing like, in my opinion, there should be, you know, 30 of these things, 50 of these things, different options for different holidays. But, um, you know, that's a different story. I think maybe though they will use AI and maybe make a bigger push. I would definitely encourage them to add more templates in here because a lot of people, even if they're going to use AI, want a template to start with. But let's just go ahead and say we are starting with the sale announcement. So I'll click that template and then I'll just go ahead and select this one here. And then we have our little Shopify uh, magic button here, okay? So this would go to all of our subscribers, which on the merch store is 1805. And then we need a subject line. So let's click generate text. Describe what this email is about. Seasonal sale, deals, best-selling products, and let's say we want it to be persuasive. Again, I haven't given this any information, and just to point this out, Shopify email has no historic data on our emails because we've never sent through them. So I don't know how that affects what it's gonna come up with. Again, this is like cold, which is probably how a lot of people would start with it. Okay, let's see what it has. Get ready for the ultimate seasonal sale. Don't miss out on these amazing deals. Discover our most wanted products now. Okay, that's boring, but as you probably know, garbage in, garbage out. It has a pretty bad, um, pretty bad starting point with you know the, the description. So let me try to change that. And you know what I wanna do too? We'll do a test, basically trying the same thing in chat GPT to see what we think has a, a better result. So describe what this email is about. Let's just say it is a, um, what's coming up? It's summer now, but let's say we do a fall sale, save 20% on all dropship lifestyle, hoodies. Okay, so let's say that was the promo. And let's say we wanted it written in the persuasive text. So I'll click try again. And now it should have something that's not cookie cutter, I would hope. Limited uh, sale offer 20% off our cozy fall hoodies. I mean, I personally wouldn't use that or trendy hoodies. Um, get ready for fall, enjoy 20% off our hoodies now. Um, you know, maybe maybe the third one, right? It's 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 something. But um, let me uh, let me do this. I'm going to log into chat GPT. And I'll Fast forward in time, you won't notice it, and then we're gonna try the same thing there. Okay, so now I also have ChatGPT open, and what I'll do is just take the exact input that we gave Shopify Magic, and we will compare it. So I'll take this, and then what I wanna tell it to do is, and this is 3.5, by the way, uh, please write, a, uh, right, we'll do three, so we have something to compare. Three persuasive email, subject lines for the following promotion. And then I'll put the promotion and we'll see what it gets. And let's do this, let's go side by side so it's easier to, uh, to compare. Put that there, put Shopify, oops, that's the blog post. Again, that'll be linked below, but let me move Shopify over here. Um, let's see, so we have limited time offer, 20% off our cozy fall hoodies, limited time offer, embrace autumn with 20% savings on hoodies, don't miss out, save big on our trendy hoodies, you know, I'll tell you with a quick glance, I personally like um, I personally like what ChatGPT gave me better. But even with that being said, like is the difference big enough that anybody should go and sign up for a ChatGPT account? You know, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. And I also think this might get better. But let me do a quick test with ChatGPT four instead of three point five and see if that delivers anything even better. Okay, so you can see here now I am in four and I'm gonna give it the same input and we'll see what it gives us as an output. Embrace the chill, get 20% off. I like that one. I like things that like stand out, right? Like limited time offer, you've seen that a million times, right? Save big this fall, okay. But I like things like, like that really stand out and that's still written as persuasive. So let's just try a different tone and then we'll get back to the video from Shopify and uh, see what the other features are. But let's try this. Let's do something that is playful to see what it gives us. We'll change the tone of voice. And then I'm also going to change the input here. Three, playful. Did that even update it? I don't think so. Okay, now it's working. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here in ChatGPT4 to compare the playful tone. Get cozy with our for sale, uh, full sale. I like the little emoji, shop now and save all hoodies. That is not playful. Uh, hoodies on sale, don't miss the full savings. Yeah, those aren't what I would consider playful, okay? So here in ChatGPT, we have fall in love, with savings, I like that a lot. 20% um, off on all 
All DSL hoodies, Psst, your autumn wardrobe just got 20% cooler. Get toasty and trendy. See, okay. Um, I, so what I'll say, and this is just totally honest review, honestly, obviously first time doing this. I don't know if um, if Shopify magic will get better over time or give different outputs over time based on how it learns. I'm assuming it will because it is a language learning model. But the reason I really wanted to go side by side was to see if it was basically using ChatGPT 4 or 3.5. The output on Shopify magic looks closer to what we got from 3.5. 4, in my opinion, is way above. Um, but with that being said, you know, I pay, I think, $20 a month to use ChatGPT4. So is that worth it to you to get better subject lines and copy quickly? I would say that depends if you actually have a store that's up and running and profitable and you want to save time and get more creative ideas quickly without having to think about them. But definitely a win here. Um, okay, and again, that's not to say I don't appreciate what Shopify did because I think it's awesome that it's free and it's built in. And I really do think just like everything else Shopify does, it will get much better in time. And it would not surprise me at all if in you know three months, six months, a year, they were on par. But with that being said, let's come back to the video. Subjects are hard for me. I don't really know what good looks like. So it already knows the content of my email. Okay, I'm gonna have, just go did. ahead and press generate. Let's text. see what he got as an output though. It's gonna generate it in a persuasive tone of voice, which I think is good. Yeah, so see, even his results here for this store, what is it, Regimen Labs. So I don't know, I'm guessing skincare stuff. Um, experience the cream of the crop, transform your skin, get the hottest new arrivals. Like you don't need AI to write those for you. So even based on what they showed in their demo, I'll say at this point it is what I would call, I don't know, a level one AI, but these LLMs get smarter these over seem time. okay, but let's take a look at another example. Let's make it daring. And the suggestions come back and Yeah, look at this. Even here, he says the tone of voice should be daring, and the suge suggestion is embark on a daring adventure. So it's learning. These seem more my brand. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these, and I can go ahead and send that email. I'll even get suggestions as to like when to send that email in the best time possible. All right, but what about for customer shop? Just to hit on that, the suggestions on you know when to send based on when you typically get opens and clicks and sales, that is awesome, love that. Again, it is part of Klaviyo, but that is something that AI can figure out very easy because it's just math, right? It's not using language. Um, so that I think is an awesome improvement and recommendation and something, you know, again, I appreciate all of this, but I'm very happy that Shopify Shopping is building that in. They need instant context to convert. We know businesses are too busy to handle every question and get back to every customer. So Shopify Magic will suggest instant answers within Shopify inbox to the most commonly asked questions personalized to your store. You approve the FAQ, and the customer gets the answer they need, moving them one step closer to a sale. You can also drive top of funnel conversions, turning more chats into checkouts using Shopify Magic. So this is cool. Again, another tool I don't currently use, Shopify uh, Inbox. We use Tidio for our live chats, but I do wanna try it right now. And basically what it's saying it will do, it's, it's a live chat for your store that talks to your customers, and it's going to integrate basically AI to answer the most common questions. So if you're not there, it can do it for you. Again, we're not using it, but let me go ahead and actually put it on the store, and we will try it out based on what he is showing. Okay, so I just installed Shopify Inbox, which by the way is another free app from Shopify. Again, I really appreciate all of these things. Like Shopify Inbox wasn't just created for AI, but the fact that they have all of these things natively built in and they continue and continue and continue to add more is one of the reasons I absolutely love Shopify. You probably know this, but like I've exclusively built businesses on Shopify for the past decade now. And it's because of things like this. They don't stop innovating. Their support is world-class. If you don't have a store with them yet and you want one, we do have an offer where you get, I believe it's three days for free and then 90 days for one dollar so if you're interested i'll link that in the description below but yeah just know shopify is hands down the best e-commerce platform and has been for a long time now shopify magic helps you even when you were chatting with live customers review the suggested chat make edits and send let's take a look at what it looks like for instant answers though so i'm going to go into the inbox product you'll see that i have this manage instant answers i'll click into that and it's already got a few suggestions for me i can put another question about my shipping details what my contact info is and i'm gonna go ahead and pick the shipping info okay we ship orders within two to three days this sounds great i'm not gonna make any changes to this i'll save it and i'll turn it on and finally we know that every day of being an entrepreneur is hard and there are lots of reasons okay so that was their demo there which honestly to me again it's something that's cool to have but it doesn't seem like a a game changer yet maybe if you only use free shopify tools it is because it didn't do it before but 
apps like Tidio and lots of other live chats have done that for a while. Again, I'm not, I don't want to knock Shopify. I know I keep saying this, but um, not revolutionary, but I guess revolutionary for Shopify inbox users, especially for the fact that it's included with your Shopify subscription. So if you go into Shopify inbox again, which I just installed, you can see down here, the second thing says, get a uh, better customer service with Shopify magic. So I'm going to click on where he clicked, manage instant answers. And let's see what we have. So this is what it would look like. You gotta love track my order, keep it easy for people. And then here are the three common questions that Magic is, I guess, generating answers for. So we can click on the suggested ones. What are your shipping details? You will receive an order confirmation. So it's taking this obviously from our shipping and returns page. Um, so you know, if we like the answer, which we do because that is our shipping policy, we can just go ahead and click save. And then that would be something that gets basically triggered to respond to a customer asking about shipping information. Um, we can come back here and then we can see what else they had. What is your return policy? So, I mean, what it's doing, just to be totally clear on this, is it's pulling from three pages on this Shopify store. It pulled shipping details from our shipping page. It pulled return policy from our return policy page. It pulled contact info from our contact page, which again is good, but those are things that you can easily you know, get yourself. It's not like it's, um, it's the best way to say it. It's not like it's being creative here or it's um, doing anything outside of what we've already gave it as an input, not to the app specifically, but from Shopify. So what it seems to me like is at this point, it's something that is helpful. It's something that if I did use Shopify inbox instead of Tidio, I would definitely enable sooner rather than later. But at this point, is it a, a revolution in live chat? No. Is it a big improvement to Shopify inbox? Definitely. And again, the fact that it's included with memberships um, is just, it's awesome for people that don't want to have different ad uh, app costs, I should say, adding up. So let's see what else we have in the video. This is why business succeeds or fails. We want to make it so everyone has the best chance of success. Imagine that you had a deeply competent, incredibly intelligent, passionate, and always available commerce expert whenever you need them. Meet Sidekick, your new AI-enabled assistant, designed to make it easier for you to start, run, and grow your business on Shopify. So Sidekick's always going to be available. I can go ahead and ask anything I want. Can you create a product for me? Let's make it a beach-themed toner. Give it a name and a fun product description. Psychic knows what I mean. Let's price it at $35. I just want to make sure of something because I did see that and I what he's what he's doing now, I definitely I love, you know, being able to communicate with an AI and have things like that happen as a starting point. But I just want to make sure here that it actually is not available yet because I read here. If we go here, uh, where does it say it? Sidekick will be in early access beginning August 2023. Um, so you have to fill out a form. Yeah, so uh, I can't show you a demo of this yet, just so you're aware, but I want to show you in the video kind of what it is and what they plan to do with it. That is not a, a dollar sign. Let's see what happens. So first thing, Sidekick takes me to the right place, and it goes ahead and it starts to generate a toner for me. It actually got the price right. Check it out. So that works, but maybe I want to find out a little bit more about what's going on in my store today. Sidekick, how many visitors did I get over the last few days? It's going to go ahead and go and create the report for me. It's picked the last few days as the last week. Let's take a look at I really like a couple things here. The, the product generator, right, and the product description generator and things like that. My guess is that will be on par with what we saw with the email line subject generator compared to ChatGPT, where it'll be capable of doing it, but I would say it's more of a starting point than something more complete because it just hasn't learned enough yet. It will, again, think of it as like a, a toddler at this point that's gonna, it's gonna age very fast and get smarter than us in, in no time. But the second thing that he's showing here, like the questions like, uh, you know, how many visitors did I get in the past few days? I'll just say personally, I would never ask an AI a question like that. I would go to my analytic reports, but this is something that is awesome. For people that are not good with analytics or really don't know what to look for, I really, I'm not sure, we'll see if he says, I didn't watch the end of this video earlier. I'm not sure if it can do it already. Well, it's not out yet, but in August, I'm not sure if it'll be able to do it. But in the future, maybe when it releases, to be able to ask questions for, um, you know, what were my best selling products for the past six months? What products are trending down in sales? What products have trended up in sales? What were my best selling products, you know, in December of last year? How many page views did I get versus, like, what were my conversion rates for product XYZ? Things like that are awesome because a lot of times when I'm trying to find reports like that in analytics, of course, all the data is available, but I'm clicking and changing dates and changing views and all of that, like just to get to what I want to see. And the data is all there. It's just kind of can be cumbersome to get to what I want. And if this can from the gate or within a few months or stay out the gate or within a few months, answer questions like that immediately, that is a massive win. And I, I'm looking forward to using it in August, I guess.
Did that report? And there it is. We couldn't be more excited about the possibilities with Sidekick and Shopify Magic, and we're just getting started. Pretty cool, you know, and like you said at the end, they're just getting started. So I, I do believe that. I believe that this is gonna be something big for them and big for us as Shopify sellers. Those are my initial thoughts after watching the video and testing some things out. Let me know, what are your initial thoughts? Are you gonna be using it? Leave a comment below.